there's another one. No, uh, yeah. Do you want to mark that for yeah, me? I'll just get a, a GPS ready. My name's Tom O'Sullivan. I, I work for myself. My company's called Blue Gum Ecological Consulting. And most of the work that I do involves impact assessment uh, or uh, conservation management. Well, we're standing in the uh, Coomera Goulburn Railway Corridor, which uh, has high conservation value, and we're particularly interested in uh, a plant called Swainsona recta. G'day, my name's uh, Matt Dow, working for uh, Ecological Australia. The Swainsona's rect rect is part of the, the, um, the pea family. It's um, uh, got yeah, pur purple flowers. It's quite a, a plant that may grow up to maybe 30 centimetres if, if you're lucky, but it stands fairly erect. And um, the little green leaflets and on the floral head, you might get up to you know, 10, maybe even uh, 20 little purple flowers. Um, they're quite distinctive when they're out and flowering, um, which only occurs for about four or five weeks throughout the year, which is why we're out here at this time of the year to actually the, to, to pick them up. Is if you're just seeing the, the green leaflets when they're out flowering, it's, it's really hard to hard to find. It's, been, it's probably about 30 flower heads on that. Yeah. The purpose of the surveys um, are for the construction of the Murramidgee to Gugong pipeline, and we're looking specifically for Rector or Swainsona rector within that pipeline easement uh, and to document it and then, uh, then there'll be consideration whether the plant would be um, propagated or some other conservation measure uh, prior to construction. This is um, uh, sort of, I guess, fenced off to, to prevent people from um, going in and um, even just walking on the plants, a, a conservation area which I, I believe um, New South Wales deck at the time had, uh, a few years ago put up to help protect the plants. Um, we're obviously in a, a rail corridor, railway corridor here which means there's limited amount of grazing, you might just get uh, roos and the occasional rabbit. But this fencing here will prevent a fair bit of that extra grazing as well. It's quite a uh, good little patch patch in there and, and flowers are beginning to, to pop up in the, in the season. You'll find that this particular species doesn't occur widely within uh, grazed paddocks, uh, uh, commercially grazed paddocks. So there may be some uh, uh, link between their absence in uh, paddocks, which are heavily grazed by stock. Well, there seems to be a larger flower head yeah. on this particular plant, but it's certainly not uncommon for this species. And it's endangered in, well, nationally endangered, endangered in the ACT and yeah. endangered in New South yeah. Wales. So it's a, it's a plant of high conservation significance. They're looking good there. There's a lot of, there are a lot of number of plants in here. Um, I'm not sure how many, but uh, yeah, and they'll, they'll flower at, at different times and most of them are starting to pop up now. We might, we're coming back in two weeks, three weeks time to do a similar sort of survey. We'll probably see a few of the ones that are, are late, late in the season to, to pop up. So we record where they are, um, get their GPS coordinates, uh, and try to estimate the numbers of plants within the corridor that would be affected by construction. There's lots of challenges for, for the conservation of Australian um, vegetation. Generally things I think are positive. Uh, there's much more incentive for uh, actions to, to, to go in the right direction to limit their impact uh, that doesn't always occur, but uh, I think generally things are heading in, in, in a, the right direction. Conservation has a much greater uh, interest and value amongst uh, uh, industries now, and that, that's the way it should be.